brother-in-law. So enough about me and let's talk about Steve and Deanna. Fornication. Excuse me. For an occasion such as this, it is a special time for us to gather and celebrate these two newlyweds. A wise man once said that a best man's speech can last as long as a groom makes love. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> But seriously, for my speech, I was having some trouble wording everything the way I wanted to. So I turned to the internet for help. And actually, I came across some good stuff. But then I re remembered that I was supposed to be looking up uh, speech ideas. <laughs> I really would like to thank Steve for choosing me and to have the honors of being his best friend. I wish nothing but the best for you, Steve and Deanna, and that your lives are blessed with all the joy and happiness life has to offer to people so deserving. Thank you. Well, since I'm married, I feel I should give you a little marriage advice. One thing Maria and I, about Maria and I, is that we never go to bed angry. We usually just stay up and argue. <laughs> These two people are very important to us. So as the evening progresses, we will all have an opportunity to spend more time talking to them so please join me in a very special toast to the bar staff. All right. I have a little poem here for the room, so here goes. Tonight's the big game. Time to be the man. Deanna's going to let you play new cards instead of playing the same old hand. But before you start the show, make sure to dim the lights in there. That way if she can't see, you've only got a small pair. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses to Steve and uh, to Diana and Steve Martinez III.